guys, it's Ozzy at Vertigreen in Montclair, New Jersey, and this is a follow-up to my painted floor video. Some of you asked uh, to see an after photo, and the reality is I haven't finished it yet uh, because I'm running my shop and being a mom and doing all those things simultaneously. So I'm just now lacquering, which is my last step. I painted it old white, I stenciled it in graphite, I gave it a really good sanding because I wanted it to be distressed, and today is the sealing day. So to seal chalk paint on floors, we use Annie Sloan's Chalk Paint Lacquer. It is a product that she created specifically for floors. I would not use it anywhere else because it's a lacquer and the wax is really more suitable for furniture. But for a painted floor, this matte lacquer is lovely. It wears really well, and um, I've used it with great experience. So first step is to stir really well because it is um, matte, which means there's flattening agents in it. And so you really need to make sure uh, you stir all those flattening agents into your lacquer product. Then I pour it into my paint tray and I add about 10% water to it to thin it out a little bit. Um, this prevents it from getting too cloudy and it just makes it a little easier to manage. I use a sponge roller to roll it on because you don't want any nap leaving any little pricks in your finish. And um, I roll on one direction the first time and then I let it dry. It dries really quickly, but I would give it a few hours before your second coat. And then I do my second coat in the opposite direction. Um, and I just want to address something really quickly. A few of you have mentioned that I don't put after photos on my videos. And that's really because when I'm filming a video, it's, it's just because I'm like, oh, this would be kind of cool to share. I want to show it. And maybe it's something a customer has asked for. And so I just upload it to YouTube. Um, I'm not really equipped to, to be a YouTube tutorial girl. I don't really like being in front of the camera personally. And I am usually just like focused on the work and getting in the zone and just showing you snippets. And the reason I do post on YouTube is because I find that um, I really just want to inspire people to use these products in a creative way. And if I can give you any tips that make it easier to experiment at home, that's, that's really my ultimate goal. Um, if you are interested in seeing any of my afters, then just uh, follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. I post them both there. It's at Vertigreen Home. So I really appreciate all the feedback though, and um, thanks for watching what I do post. But I can't ever promise to be organized and have have a uh, beginning and an ending to anything I post on here, because that's just kind of how I roll. Um, but um, anyway, I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I apply this lacquer. So I choose a section that it hasn't been lacquered, and I just roll it on a very nice thin coat. And I do pay attention. Unlike Annie's chalk paint, you do want to pay attention to how you're applying the lacquer because if this was a dark color, um, it could get cloudy if I have too much overlap or if I haven't um, stirred the flattening agents in all the way. So I am somewhat deliberate with my application. And that's about it. I hope this was helpful. Um, love where you live and shop local. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.